Hi guys, I'm Jennifer Tapiero, hanging out on Pacific Rim, and I'm at the Magic Castle, hanging out with a really magical person, Missy the Medium, and we just got done with a seance in the Houdini room. Unbelievable, Missy. Oh, thanks. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. You guys were a really fun group. It really was incredible because not only did we have a seance, um, some energy came up. Mm -hmm. All kinds of energy comes up. Any seance work is about the manipulation of energy, keeping things in balance, and attempting to make contact. Now, of course, because I'm a magician and not a proper medium and I don't possess those skills, my ghosts show up on time every time. And that's something no real medium can do. But we did have some really, really interesting times in that room today, didn't we? So you're a magician and a medium? I'm a magician who does a medium show. Oh. So I am a theatrical seance medium. I'm not a proper seance medium. I do not really speak to the dead. I make it look like the dead are there. Oh, it was really cool. The table was rising. People were scared, holding on to each other's wrists. <laughs> Cats and dogs living together. It was mass chaos. Yeah. It was a mess. Books are falling off the shelves, and we connected with Houdini. And that's why we're here today, because it's all about the new show on Fox, Houdini and Doyle. I am so excited about this show. It's starting May 2nd. Is that right? It's going on May 2nd. Set your TiVos. Michael Wesson plays Houdini. I can't wait to check out the show. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited about it. I'm a huge Houdini fan, clearly. I spend my days surrounded by his stuff, you know? And, and he seems wonderful. He's just so nice and charismatic. And the fact that they're portraying Houdini as a skeptic, I think, is what's really exciting, because he was. Conan, Arthur Conan and Doyle was huge into spiritualism and fairies and believed in the supernatural and Houdini came to the decision that he didn't really feel that that was the case he wanted scientific proof and so since that's the case and that's how they're portraying them that makes me as someone who knows a little bit about them really excited about the show and to see the take that they've that they've put on this. You think this is going to be a family show, something that we can all sit around and watch with our family? I hope it's a family show because I've got nieces and nephews on the East Coast that I would love to have something to connect with them over. Definitely. Okay, so now we're here at the Magic Castle. Like you said, you spend a lot of time in the Houdini room. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the stuff that you see every single day. The stuff in the Houdini room is amazing. You're surrounded by tricks that he invented, a straitjacket he actually performed from, a magic wand that he used on stage. Where else in the world do you get to sit inside history? Is it haunted? Of course it's haunted. It's my job to haunt it. Ooh. <laughs> and you said that the Magic Castle might be a little haunted. A lot of energy walking around here. A lot of old Hollywood energy. A lot of legends, icons have been here. Yes, actually, Cary Grant was one of our previous presidents, and he's the reason that there's a no photos rule. He wanted a place to go where it was sanctuary. And there have been several deaths in this building. There are several legit ghosts that are frequently sighted running back and forth from the mm -hmm. Palace of Mystery Bar. The room in which I do my show is the room in which the mansion's original builder, Roland Lane, passed away. Mm -hmm. And you can't mistake that there's an energy. But as a magician, I have to be responsible and say I can usually explain it, but I love it when I can't. <laughs> How many shows a month do you do? I do a lot. I work often. So it would be difficult because every month is different. So it ranges anywhere from 30 shows in a month. Sometimes there are only three if they're paying really, really well. Yeah. So it just depends on, on what it is that we're... Yeah, you know the Magic Castle. What about yeah. this room? What, what's the energy in here? Energy-wise, it feels okay. Mm -hmm. History-wise, you're surrounded by some pretty amazing stuff. That's W.C. Fields' actual pool table. That's the bar from Hello, Dolly. Behind you, one of the most famous magicians in the world and one of the best technicians with cards, Cardini. There's an homage to him there. And behind us, we've got several different folks who have passed. Dante, I saw him when I looked over my shoulder. Very famous magicians and their stuff. It's everywhere. This place is so magical. Some of the millennials out there and the younger generation, you might not be sure who we're talking about, but your mom or your grandmother might know. Yeah, grandma, great grandma. <laughs> yeah, these are, these are from a long, long time ago. But you can look them up. W.C. Fields and his pool table are on YouTube. Look it up. It is so worth it. Trust. It's not just one of those old people things. It's actually legit cool. Trust. Well, you're awesome. You're so entertaining. We would love to follow everything you're doing. What's your social media? My social media is Misty underscore Lee for Twitter. And on Facebook, it's Misty Lee. On Instagram, it's Magical Misty Lee. Come on, let's do this. If they want to come see you at the Magic Castle, when can we come see you? You guys can come see me anytime. The seances are booked privately through a fellow named Josh Stern. We've got several public shows, and they can go to MistyLee.com to find out when those are. Awesome. Definitely check out Misty. She was incredible. And of course, set your TiVos May 2nd on Fox, Houdini and Doyle. And of course, subscribe and comment below. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.